Okay, so welcome back to Vault Hunters. Without further ado, let's get into a vault. Um, this episode, we're running three different vaults. First of which is going to be this one, which is a lucky crowded vault. We gotta make sure to turn on this guy for our free, uh, being able to see through walls. Also, dash is a thing that hopefully won't get me running into walls even more. But, um, essentially our main goal is to just finish these guys as quick as possible. And because of that, I don't think we're going to spend a ton of time getting these ores unless we see a white one. If we see a white one, that means that it's Echo. And Echo Ore is one of the few ores that are worth grabbing at every scenario. Also, if we see any mobs that have that kind of glow, they're giving us abilities that we do want. So, uh, please point out any of those that I may miss uh, throughout the run, and I will probably heart your comment. As well as make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content kind of like this. Um, yeah, this is Vault Hunters Plus. Uh, the... It's Vault Hunters, but I made myself actually kind of OP through the power of grinding, which is one of my favorite things to do in all of games. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, make sure that you subscribe for more content if you like this, or if you want to just see more of me. Uh, yeah, I do post videos daily. I'm trying to hit, uh... I, I say a thousand subs before the end of the year, but I, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, but ideally, hopefully, hit se hitting 750 before the end of the year. So, a couple more months left before that, which gives us plenty of time to go grind this out. But, Vault Hunters Plus is going to be kind of insane, because I do have plans for both Tinker's add-ons to be added in a little bit and some even crazier normal Vault Hunters stuff uh, such as the Tier 5 gear. I'm getting that worked on right now. Uh, it is taking a long time, so that might, might take uh, more, more time than we ended up, uh, end up having for this series. But I hope that I can at least get some of that done. Anyway, we should just finish this first vault off right here. Just with a quick, quick three hitter. Uh, nice and speedy. Let's make sure to turn off the x-ray. Eat the cake. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're back at base. Thing. I think. No, we're... I keep forgetting to make a bed. It's something that I need to do. I will do that before next episode, I'd say. Now, probably not, though. Unfortunately. Um, okay. Let's make sure to grab you, and let's head in to the next vault without any... any laggage, because it's just not worth it. Uh, okay. Let's make sure that we delete delete and delete uh, and then we can do that perfect okay it's a six obelisk vault so this one might take a bit i don't know i don't have a whole ton left to talk about uh for this the plans for the series so if you do want to know even more about vault hunters plus i might be posting a video on that in the coming weeks but uh, yeah, it depends on how many people actually want a full explanation, because overall, there are quite a lot of things that need to be touched on. Because it is both a completely new mod pack, in a sense that the goal is kind of changed. The goal is just to have fun. It's not to complete the final vault or anything. It's just for pure enjoyment. Uh, that's the main objective of this series. Uh, secondarily, why am I so broken? It's because all of the mods that I've added to this mod pack 
have been to increase the amount of grinding that it takes to get crazy good stuff. But also, I like grinding. So if that's not for you, I would not recommend playing this uh, edition of the Normal Vault Hunters pack when I do end up getting a link for that and all the changes posted. However, I do hope that there will be some like-minded individuals who enjoy grinding as much as I do and also want to just test how stupidly grindy you can make things because ultimately that's what this mod pack is for me and I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. I don't know about everyone else who's watching this, but I'm particularly enjoying it. If you're not, I'm sorry. There's not much I can really do about that, but I hope that there's something else that will bring you to this channel because I enjoy making content for it. And I just enjoy having fun and doing what I love. And that's this. So, uh, yeah, just essentially live your life. Enjoy as much as you can. I might not be for everyone, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, also, I will be doing, instead of, uh, the episodically, uh, epi ep ep per episode, as opposed to doing, uh, loot crates from the gods every episode like I did at the beginning of Vault Hunters Plus, the first run down, um, instead this time I will just be doing one week. Uh, I didn't do one last week, because last week was the first week of this. But, I will be doing that starting this week. Um, starting that because I do kind of want to get a quick head start. Just for the first probably three-ish, uh, weeks. Uh, essentially the first month, but I missed the first week, so uh, the next three weeks starting this week. I will be getting a crate with five knowledge uh stars and just a couple other things because no one wants to see me not be able to mess with any of the mods um in addition to that the ultimate goal for the end of this series is going to be amassing a crazy fortune of gems and knowledge stars in order to pay back the Vault Gods for our chance at being able to use Tinker's Construct in the Vaults. So, uh, just, if you do enjoy, uh, this series, just, uh, I don't know, stay tuned, because some things are gonna come that I think you might enjoy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still very congested, uh, so, any of those people who care about me, uh, just know that I'm getting over it. It's, it's just a cold, but it's really annoying. And, uh, yeah, I'm working through it. Just two more of these stinking obelisks left for this vault, and then we'll be able to run the final vault of the day. Um, okay, one more obelisk, I guess. I don't know. Um... Yeah, just put down suggestions for mods to, to be added in the comments below. I am trying to pay attention to those comments. Oh, water breathing. I did need that. That's quite convenient. Um, but yeah, make sure to post mod add, add addition suggestions in the comments below. Because uh, I greatly appreciate those. Like, some people said to add Project E. I am currently working on adding that to the pack, although there are some issues with it that I will go through once we finally get it added. Mostly just config issues, but it should work out in the end, so... Moving past that, let's just fight this boss. Perfect. And that's that. Nice. Gotta love it. Free vault clears. Make sure to turn off the x-ray. Make sure to delete waypoint. And let's get back up here. But yeah, just 
make sure to put comments below. I do appreciate everyone who comments, especially things that are nice, because those really do uh, raise my spirits and make me want to continue doing this forever. Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff, because our luck levels are insane right now. Um, I'm just going to shift-click everything into here, and then we'll go through it all after this last vault of the day. Okay, without any wasted time, let's see how long this next one's going to... It's a 5 all whisk. Okay, well, I'm going to simply cut to the end of this vault, because otherwise it's going to take way too long. So I will see you then. Okay, well, luckily that didn't take too long to actually find this one. So I guess I'll leave this last bit in. That's that vault. Not much more to really see there. Make sure to delete the waypoint and we can continue to loot everything else that we can see. I ended up finding a lot of the uh, obelisks very, very rapidly there. So that was convenient to say the least but uh yeah let's go look through the loot that we ended up getting after those three vaults and see if there uh how many levels we can get from the cookies themselves because vault cookies give an astronomical amount of vault xp um like way more than you would expect which is going to prove very useful especially early on so let's see, we got 16 total, I think, from those vaults. And, uh, yeah, we got some mystery boxes and booster packs to open. Uh, and some relics to open. First, let's just eat through the cookies. We're already level 3 from just going through the vaults. Level 4 from the cookies. Level 5 from the cookies. We're gonna hit level 6 here. And then halfway to level 7. Okay. Um, Vein Miner. I think what we're, what we're gonna want to do here is I think we go... we go max level of Vein Miner or do we go more Execute? I think we go one more Vein Miner and then two more Execute. Yeah. Um, and then we'll work towards everything else later. Speed, not super necessary because of the add-ons. Uh, stone skin will actually be good for knockback res, but let's go through the booster packs. Nothing with those guys. Not a whole ton when it comes to those guys, which is fine. And the relics. Shieldman, H, and T-Wolf set stuff. Okay, not too shabby. Let's craft up this stuff into vault silver and then into vault gold shove that in there oh there's more stuff to open in here that i didn't notice uh okay well i will consolidate all that stuff in a little bit but for now that's going to be the end of this episode please like if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and continue seeing my content in your recommended because you might actually enjoy it I know I'm not for everybody, and I know my content isn't the greatest, but thank you for watching nonetheless. GG's. Peace. Make sure to have a great day. See you next time.